Like all organs in the human body, the brain receives oxygen and nutrition from blood flowing through small vascular vessels. The blood vessels that supply the brain form a special structure called the blood-brain barrier, which is composed of endothelial cells that line the vessels, and astrocytes and pericytes on the outside that interface with neuronal cells in the brain. This barrier is highly selective and prevents toxins and other large molecules, such as antibodies, from entering the brain tissue while allowing certain small substances, such as glucose, to pass through. Nutrients and oxygen diffuse from the blood into the brain to feed the neurons and their supporting astrocytes, helping them function normally. Then hormones and metabolic products released from the brain cells diffuse back across the blood-brain barrier and into the blood where they are transported away. To learn how the cells of the blood-brain barrier interact with brain cells, researchers at the Wies Institute and Harvard Seas have developed a linked blood-brain barrier chip and brain chip system. The two blood-brain barrier chips each contain a vascular channel lined with human endothelial cells separated by a porous membrane from a parallel perivascular channel containing cultured brain astrocytes and pericytes. The brain chip contains various types of neurons in one channel separated from another perivascular channel in a semi-permeable membrane. The perivascular channel of the brain chip is microfluidically linked to the two blood-brain barrier chips, allowing scientists to monitor the flow of molecules between the brain and its blood vessels. Just like in a living brain, small molecules such as glucose flow into the system through the vascular channel and pass into the perivascular channel, which leads them to the neurons in the brain chip. At the same time, small molecules released from neurons flow out through the same perivascular channel and into the second blood-brain barrier chip, where they pass through the endothelial cells and back into the vascular channel. Large molecules, such as antibodies, flowing through the vascular channel of the blood-brain barrier chip do not enter the perivascular channel or reach the neurons in the brain chip, again mimicking a living brain. Using this system, researchers discovered that the vascular and neuronal cells in chips that are fluidically linked produce proteins that are more similar to those naturally found in the human brain and its blood vessels than the proteins produced by cells in unlinked chips. In addition, by tracing the path of labeled glucose molecules, the researchers found that glucose metabolites produced by the endothelial cells cross the blood-brain barrier and enter brain neurons, where they are used to manufacture neurotransmitters such as glutamate and GABA. This intriguing finding suggests that the health of our brain's blood vessels could have a direct impact on the way our mind functions. Researchers are continuing to use this type of fluidically linked multi-organ chip system to uncover more about how the brain and other tissues and organs work at the molecular level.